Previously on Good and Basic. We collected acorns and sampled them with the tannic acid inside. Now, we've got a collection of acorns that desperately need processing. Phase one of the acorn processing was to remove the shells. At this point, you really want to watch out for weevils because they're disgusting. On this particular nut, you can see a very small, precise, round hole. That hole is a weevil burrowing its way out. One trick to get the ones that have already rotted out pretty bad, because they're really nasty when you bite into these, is to throw them in a bucket of water and they will rise to the top. The good ones will sink, the bad ones will float. The next phase was to leach out all the tannic acids that were in the acorns. And so what I did is I put them in a bottle of water and changed it every day. The ideal circumstance to do this in would be a running, clear, fresh stream where the water is being changed continuously. But instead, I just emptied the water out every day. And that kind of sort of worked. Then my wife discovered a much, much, much better option using the back of a toilet. Yes, a toilet. So she mentions this to me that she'd read on a blog somewhere that you can leach acorns by putting them in a sock in the back of the toilet. And less than an hour later, I had put a sock of acorns in the back of the toilet water in the tank of the toilet raises and lowers automatically. It goes up and down all day. Every time you flush, new water comes in. And since it's sealed off, you're not getting all the disgusting stuff. So it's, it's more or less clean water. After about a month sitting back there, I retrieved them and we continued the process. Here's the acorns. We're gonna take a look inside. See what they look like. After about a month in the back of the toilet, they don't smell rotten. There is a mild slimy film to the outside of the bag. I've checked in on this and I don't know exactly what it is, but it doesn't smell bad. And so <laughs> I think I'm gonna move forward and try to turn these into pancakes and see if we can eat them. I learned after I put these in the toilet that the Native Americans used to grind them up to a rough flour before soaking them, which would make it much, much, much quicker. Well, I think I identified what the slime was on the sock. Some of the acorns I had mashed into a relatively rough flour, and the ones that were the finest have gotten really soft and started actually squishing through the walls of the sock. So it's not like bacteria or algae or anything, it seems to actually be like super fine acorn that's been mashed to the point where it became a paste. I just added some water to make the blender have a slightly easier time grinding these up. And I am very pleased to note that the smell is really quite pleasant. Uh, when I described kind of a pecan-like taste with the previous video, um, that is very much what this smells like now. Uh, soaking the acorns hasn't completely removed their flavor, nor has it given them some nasty, moldy, back-of-the-toilet flavor. And this is a sampling of the bleached toilet acorns. much milder. The nutty flavor is still intact. The bitterness is almost completely gone. There's a slight sourness, which means I might have left them in too long or just done a bad job frying. It's a good survival food. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe below and give us a thumbs up. I should really say something witty about acorns, but if I did, it would be an acorny joke.